From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evening LA Late with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022 for April 24th, 2022. In tonight's recording from America's Most Watched Show for Financial News in Prime Time, we go over the incredible news as new stimulus checks have landed, not just from the president, but now also the states. States ramping up from two states to 20 states to give you big checks. We'll go over the latest breaking news as check D has landed. Then we'll go back to those presidential four stimulus checks. The president continues to send out direct depositing for some of those checks. You need them, and what are they? We'll go over the latest details. What's happening with that SS300? Major developing details from Jay Powell. We'll be looking at that horizon as well. Then we'll be looking at what happened with that student loan debt forgiveness. Seven stimulus, as the president has now done six executive orders in seven days. It's all incredible great news. Then we'll be going back over to six stimulus. The oil, wheat, and grain situation folding dramatically across the board. Over this broadcast tonight, over this one-hour broadcast, we got a lot of checks to go over and a lot to learn and a lot to remember. Yes, we're going to look back over the first two years of this channel and all the incredible laughs we had and all the incredible tears we also brought together. Because in a time of need, when a pandemic raged out of control in April 2020, there was a lot of uncertainty what would behold us. And two years later, we still have COVID. Two years later, we still have stimulus. Two years later, you still have me. And two years later, you still have Democrats and Republicans battling. You also have the Federal Reserve still trying to figure out how to get things done. You still have Elizabeth Warren trying to get that student loan debt forgiven. And two years later, we still have the opportunity to get checks. And more checks are landing by direct deposit today as they were on day one of the channel. Day one of this channel, people were learning how to get direct deposit of $10,000 of EIDL, $150,000 of EIDL, $15,000 of PUA. Tonight, it's much the same. Bigger checks, quicker checks, and more fluid across the board. The information has always been king. And also at Queen has been Nancy Pelosi. Whether it's been a joke about a hairstyle or a joke about a hairstyle, it's always been front and center. And what happened on day one? Well, let's take a look back at what happened over the last two years. Nancy Pelosi says that hair salon set her up. She said she went in to ask to look like Bo Derek, and they made her look bad. She ended up looking like Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> that Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi yesterday reached that silent meeting I'm still calling it silent meeting. It's like pantomimes were doing the meeting. <laughs> imagine, imagine Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi doing a pantomime meeting on your stimulus chat. That, that would be the pantomime silent meeting. Stop calling it silent meeting. It's secret meeting. Secret meeting, not silent meeting. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful night. For April 24th, 2022, I almost said 2020. we have incredible great news as more checks have landed all over this one-hour special broadcast. We're going to go over the major developing details as more stimulus checks have landed today that weren't even there yesterday. It's great. It's exciting. It's big money, and it's big information. Get your pen and paper ready, because over the next one-hour broadcast, we got a lot to go over. The presidential for stimulus checks are landing by direct deposit. Then, I had told you that we were going to go from two states to more. And we have 20-plus states are now giving for stimulus checks as well. The fluid situation is going to be covered on tonight's broadcast over this one-hour telecast. Then we'll be going over to Jay Powell head of the Federal Reserve, and what he is doing to battle inflation. But is he going to hurt inflation, help it, or hurt the GDP? All the latest analysis tonight. 
great news on that student loan debt forgiveness front because the president now doing a lot for them as well. Six student loan debt executive orders in seven days. Wow, major developing details across the board. And then, of course, we'll look at Build Back Better Act and what the president's doing to get it done. With the election just around the corner, a lot at issue and a lot of money. Plus, we'll be looking at what we learned as a community and when sometimes scarves are needed and when they're sometimes not needed. Did you see Javita at that event with Trump this week? You see how many scarves she had on? I was three. I, you know, it's we're in August. I thought you would, you know, pull back on August. You know, maybe do two scarves, one <laughs> scarf. That's uh, three scarves. August. You know, the the heat wave is really big in Los Angeles. I wonder if she goes to the beach in like seven scarves. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big night, and over this one-hour broadcast, we're going to have a lot of fun and a lot of information, a lot of stimulus, and nothing has changed really in two years, except maybe the scarves. Uh, it's actually a equation day in Los Angeles, so I think Jamina got ready for tonight's broadcast. You know, there's a lot to go over tonight, and the great news is that everything that we always said was going to happen has happened. We said it was going to be 8% inflation in December and 8% not going down. That's the situation tonight. We said that there was going to be forced stimulus checks. There are, and there's lots of them tonight. We said they're going to land by direct deposit. They are, and they're landing tonight. And then we also said that uh, Nancy would still have the same hairstyle. <laughs> I guess it's a home run on everything tonight across the board. Two years later, Nancy Pelosi still have the same hairstyle. So let's go over the link. That is not her hairstyle. Let's go over the, what's going on tonight. What's going on first with the Build Back Better Act is we have major developing news on that front. The president has, has a lot of insiders who have a series of new comments about Build Back Better Act, and they're really fascinating. The first series of insiders say at the White House that the president's going to get it done because... The uh, agenda of the White House is back on point for the economic policy, domestic policy. New polls say that Americans have grown tired of about hearing you about Ukraine, so the White House is refocusing back on the domestic agenda. And that is Build Back Better Act. And it's important to understand that the president and you and I all know the importance of those midterm elections. We also know when you have to get a check in your hand before it's too late. That was one of the major recordings I made outside last 2020, when Nan Donald Trump waited too long to get you that check. Hopefully, Joe Biden has learned by example. The midterm elections are November, but you don't vote on November. You now vote by mail, most people. So you start voting two months ahead of time. That means the voting could start as early as September. Some say it's maybe August. That means you want the check in the hand by July. That means that you want the Senate to vote by June. And if they're voting by June, they want to figure out where the negotiations finish up by May. We're already at the status quo. That is the major push by the White House today to get Build Back Better Act done in the next few days because they want those checks to land before the midterm elections. The second major developing details coming out of the White House tonight is that the White House is a little bit concerned about where this economy is going, but not potentially saying it in fluid terms. And so that is why the comments are off the record. In a series of new comments obtained by LA News, the president's staffers are now saying that the U.S. economy's growth may not be what some people thought. A series of new quotes obtained by LA News talks about the gross national product in the White House. What is the gross national product? It shows how big this economy will be or is. Growth numbers, GDP. If the number's positive, it means the economy's growing. If and the economy's growing, that means that businesses are growing, people are being employed, people are being hired. If the number is negative, it means you're in recession. And if it means it's zero or about flat, it means we're about to go to recession. So what's going on? I've been saying over the last two months that the U.S. economy will go into recession for two years starting in 2023. I'm saying two industries are already are in recession, housing and auto. And Wall Street, what did they say? Well, Deutsche Bank was the first major bank to co-sign what I say, which is they're saying the same thing. Two years of recession starting in 2023. Tonight, Goldman Sachs says a 35% chance of going into recession by 2023. And then Wall Street, not exactly just yet. Wall Street is saying 4% GDP by the end of the year. So they're not saying recession, just a little bit higher than that. What did the White House say? The White House's insider says the GDP will be 3.7% 
Ouch. So basically, the White House insider is saying Wall Street's overestimating how good this economy is going to be. Mm -mm, yeah. Now, here's what gets interesting. The White House insider says that the GDP will shrink to 3.7% later this year, compared to Wall Street's analysts, a 4% my analysis of zero or negative. And that is good news, says the White House insider, compared to what's going to happen in other countries. Germany, 2.1% GDP, 2.5% for South Korea, and 37 for the United Kingdom. I say this analysis doesn't work. It doesn't work. Why? We're not South Korean. I just did, did you not notice? I'm you know, it doesn't work that way. We're a bigger economy. We should do bigger and better numbers than 3.7%. But as my indication is tonight, that we're likely going to zero or negative percent. That's the first part of the equation. Second part of the equation is what Jay Powell is doing as well. Jay Powell is trying to solve that inflation. And by solving that inflation, he's trying to raise those interest rates. Now, this tees up back into Build Back Better Act, which is we're going to be in back in a second. Jay Powell had new comments at the end of a last week that gave us guidance of what he's going to do. But it also gave us guidance about, in my opinion, what he can't do. If this sounds a little bit complex, well, let me explain what's going on. Jay Powell is head of the Federal Reserve. His job as head of the Federal Reserve is to get inflation down. He's the guy who had inflation all wrong last year. I had projected that inflation would be 8% starting last July, I said that. I said it was going to be 8% in December. And I said it was not going to be temporary. I was the only person that was really saying that, with the exception of Wharton School's Jeremy Siegel, who had it actually higher than me. What happened? It was 8%. <laughs> it was 8%. Jay Powell had it wrong. I had it wrong. I had it right. I then said I was going to say at 8% for a few months. And I said it could actually get higher. What happened? January, 8%. February, 8%. And then March, it went higher. March's inflation went higher. What's this important for? It's important for you if you're on benefits. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Because Joe Biden, when he ran for president and then as president-elect, said he was going to swamp your cola for inflation. Swapping out your cola for inflation, what does that mean? Let me explain the details. Your benefits are reassessed every December based upon a benchmark. That benchmark is currently COLA. It was 5% in December and you got cheated because I just told you inflation was 8% at the time. Your benefits should have gone up 8%. They didn't. They went up 5%. Not just that month, not just that this year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. Joe Biden represents he's going to swap COLA for inflation. If he swaps it today, is he giving you 8%? Yeah, he's actually giving you a little bit more than 8%. And then what about later this year? Well, I expect inflation to drop to 4% by the end of the year. What does j Powell say? What does he project? Let's go over the equation right now. First, where is inflation right today? Well, the Consumer Price Index number, CPI, was released days ago, and it signaled that for the month of March, I was right again. The inflation went actually higher. What happened? Comparing February to March of 2022, Energy went up 11% in one month. Whoa, that is high. That's higher than Nancy's hairstyle. That is really high. Then the price of consumer goods, especially fresh fruits and vegetables, went up 3% in one month. Lobsters went down. Just no demand. Uh, <laughs> lobster shorts really went down value. Um, then the price of um, uh, other vegetables and most foods went up 1%. Overall, the U.S. economy saw a 0.3% increase on price of goods from February to March. That means inflation is higher. That means inflation is higher than 8% tracking right today. That's good. That means if Joe Biden makes that swap and code of inflation right today, you'd lock in $800, 8% uh, right today, $200 more per month, not just this month, a lifetime. Now, what about the end of the year? Jay Powell says that he's going to get inflation down to 1.9% by the end of the year because he thinks by raising interest rates, it's going to work. It's not. It's going to go to 4% by the end of the year. That's another $100 on top of your existing benefits. That's $300 more per month. What did Jay Powell say going into the weekend? Here's where it gets interesting. Jay Powell said, in my appropriate view, it is more appropriate to move a little bit more quickly to raise interest rates. I think it's more important to do front-end loading to accommodate what's appropriate. I would say 50 basis points for the table that's coming up in the May meeting. Translation, he wants to do 50 basis point increase on interest rates in the May FOMC meeting, just days from now. Surprise? No, I've been saying that for weeks. I've been saying he's going to do two 50 basis point increases May and then the next meeting. Here's where it gets interesting. Jay Powell was asked, are you going to do three quarters 
at that May meeting. He says, no, that's too aggressive, but I want to do front loading. Meaning he wants to come in very aggressively at the front end and then slow and taper off the back end, thinking it's going to work. Is it going to work? It's not going to work. Why? Because the situation for inflation tonight, folks, is caused by three issues. And those three issues, none of which Jay Powell can fix. They are three supply chain disruptions. Supply chain disruption number one is coming out of COVID. Supply chain number two is dealing with Vladimir Putin. Supply chain disruption number three is a big shock and no one saw coming. It is China. China is on major lockdown today as the subvariant of Omicron spreads across its country. That means that products we make in China can't get back to us and that products we buy from China can't get to us. That's three supply chain disruptions, none of which that j Powell has a tool to fix and with those tools and lack of tools to fix it. Inflation stays up. So what's the net result? The net result is that Joe Biden makes that phone call to that Social Security Administrator head and swaps that cola for inflation. You'd lock in $200 more per month, not just this month, but lifetime. And then if inflation does track at 4% later this year, you get another $100 SS300 lifetime. It's huge. Now, what about what Jay Powell's going to do? He's going to still do what he wants to do. And unfortunately, it's not going to work. And unfortunately, it's actually going to hurt you because your borrowing will cost more money. Whether it's a car loan you're borrowing for or a flexible home mortgage, it's going to hurt you because those interest rates will be higher. And you've already seen it in the mortgage rates. Now, let's go back to what this means for Build Back Better Act. It's par for the course and going a lock and step with the key for Build Back Better. Why? Because Build Back Better Act is based upon the notion that people need assistance in time of need. And you definitely need a time of need right tonight. Because guess what? The U.S. economy's faltering major data across the board continues to come in slumping, sloping, or sliding for this U.S. economy. And the data is not particularly good or improving. What have we seen? First, non-farm payrolls down 60,000 new job creations, a major miss. Then you just saw the GDP, a major miss. We are looking at 7% in 7% GDP right now. It came in at 6.9%. Then we also had the housing starts down four consecutive months. And the numbers that came in just days ago showed that the houses are down for low income, middle class, and even over a million dollar homes. All down. Mortgage rates continue to surge out of control to 5% from 3% two months ago. The economic data day after day is weak with the exception of the unemployment numbers. That is good news for Build Back Better Act. That is why Build Back Better Act is going to get done. Now, the President of the United States understands that to get Build Back Better done, he needs to do it right now because Cal to Colleen, are you on set? Cal to Colleen, come on in. Where are you? To get this Build Back Better Act money done now, he needs to because the money would land in your hands before you vote in the midterm elections. Everyone's thinking about those midterm elections. And that's why Joe Biden has really ramped up dramatically on that student loan debt forgiveness in just days. The president has done six executive orders in seven days for student loan debts. And we're going to go over that in a second. First, I want to look at some stimulus checks. The president understands that there's different ways to get stimulus checks out to American people. There's congressional stimulus checks, which we just went over. Then there's presidential for stimulus checks that have landed by direct deposit. They're coming up in just a second. And then there's state stimulus checks. And boy, are they huge. There was a day at the end of last week where I said there's currently two states, Pennsylvania and Maine, who are giving you by direct deposit a forced stimulus check. This is a state forced stimulus check. This is different than a Joe Biden presidential forced stimulus check. At the time, I said to you, get ready because other states will be doing it. One viewer said, Tennessee's not doing it. I said, just be patient. You're going to hear a lot more states doing it. Tonight, 20 states are doing it. It's huge. It's absolutely enormous. And we're just getting started. Why will more states be doing state stimulus checks? Let me explain to you why. It brings us back to, of course, 2020, as we're celebrating the anniversary of the channel. What happened in 2020? Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin were negotiating the second stimulus package. And Pelosi said the states are going bankrupt, Steve. We need a lot of money. Steve Mnuchin said, no, you do not. The states are rolling in cash. The battleground ensued, and then eventually Steve Mnuchin said to Pelosi, you know what? We're going to sell those very simply. 
use or lose. If the states have money, they got to use it or lose it and return it back to me. And guess what happened? They had the money. I always said they had the money. Nancy Pelosi was, of course, wrong. And the states didn't return it. They used it. And they sent out those checks. It's as though Janet Yellen, your current Treasury Secretary, saw what Steve Mnuchin did with the first stimulus package. She did the same with the third in early January 2021. She said, use or lose for third stimulus. You're not going to keep the money indefinitely. And guess what? That's law. And guess what's happening? The use or lose date is just around the corner. It's December 2022, just months from now. States have to use the money or return it back to the federal government. What did I say And last week when two states had announced Pennsylvania and Maine that they were using the money? I said every single state has money. Every state, single state is going to use the money. And no state's going to return it back to the federal government. I also said over the next 7 to 14 days, you're going to see a lot more states announce the money. Where are we tonight? Very quickly. In less than 48 hours after that broadcast, we went from two states to 20. And we're not done there yet. Let me explain to you why. And this is very, very, very important. When they did third stimulus, they gave every state the same amount of money. Let me say that again. Every state the same amount of money based upon the population of the state. So when you consider the money prorated based upon the citizens, every state got the same amount of money. I'll say it again. If it's a Republican state, you got the same money as a Democratic state, as the same money as an independent state. If you're a rich state, you got the same money as a poor state. And what's going on is that the states were given too much money. Third stimulus, we all know, was an overpayment of everything. And there's a lot of leftover money. And guess what's happening tonight? 20 states have now announced they got extra money. You don't know how much money they have, but my projection is all the states have extra money. And all the states are going to use it. No state is ever going to return the money. Where is this fourth stimulus check by states? It's coming up in the second half of this video. It's hitting by direct deposit. Then we'll be going over to those presidential four stimulus checks. Wow, they're huge. But the way you do not miss a check, and I got to tell you, there's a lot of checks happening suddenly. You see how quickly it's, it's unfolding? We have presidential four stimulus checks. We have state four stimulus checks. And then we'll have congressional four stimulus checks right behind that. We also have the student loan debt forgiveness checks, which I'm going to get to in a second. With so many checks happening so quickly, that's why you don't want to miss anything. You need to become a member. This is all featured in the membership newsletter. There's no reason for you to have to take notes on a video that's one hour broadcast with so much details. I put it in the membership newsletter. Because guess what? That membership newsletter has a big surprise in there and it's coming up after the commercial break. Become a member. The membership links at the top of the chat and pin comment. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alert system. Meantime, in the second half of this video, we'll be going over those big checks, that presidential force stimulus check, those state force stimulus checks, and those congressional force stimulus checks. But let's turn back to something that also got major shockers across the board this week. Student loan debt stimulus checks. Whoa, this is huge. Imagine if you have $9,000 you owe and suddenly someone says you don't have to pay it anymore. That is a wonderful check of confidence in your heart, and it's happening. The President of the United States has done six executive orders in seven days for student loan debts, and let's go over all of them by taking it back to the earliest days of his presidency. He first forgave student loan debts for individuals who became disabled after graduation, and then he forgave student loan debts who, for individuals who went to work in the nonprofit and public sector after graduation. But then it got very exciting just a few days ago. First, he forgave student loan debts for individuals who were defrauded by their universities. This is a monster, monster forgiveness. Then he said, if your debts are in default, I'll put them to good standing. Then he said, if you have any debts still pending, I will roll them over to September. Then it got even better as the press secretary to Joe Biden said that complete student loan forgiveness is still on the table. Is the table teal? <laughs> I just had to put that in there. You know the table's teal, the lamp's teal, the, blade, the, the, the drapes are teal when she said that. You just know that. 
<laughs> there's no color wheel it just it's just stop it just locked a teal in that office uh so that was just the start of it now we got more for these student loan debts get your pen and paper ready because this is where it gets interesting I, I am no expert when it comes to loans and so i try my best so here we go the president's team that led by Miguel Cardona is doing exactly what I told you John King told him to do. John King, who is Education Secretary under Obama Biden, said that we pass stuff under Barack where the president can do stuff without act of Congress. He can do it by executive order. How does he do it? He changes or modifies the laws. And now what is Joe Biden doing? He's doing that exactly with Cardona. What happened? Let me read you the quote, and then I'll tell you the words to look up. James Caval, who's undersecretary to Miguel Cardona, says, We have ongoing rulemaking that will take a look at what types of statutes should qualify for the IDR credit, and there may be potential for us to improve them as the time goes forward. So they're going to modify the IDR credit. Write that one down, IDR credit. Write down this one as well, Public Service Loan Forgiveness Program. They're going to change the language of that. They actually say, by changing that immediately, result in student loan debt forgiveness for at least hundreds of thousands of borrowers. Then there are also going to be modifications to the income-based repayment programs. Write down those words. Also, go to the government website run by the Department of Education.gov and open up each of the press releases over about the last 14 days from Cardona. He'll go over more about this in details. This is where you really fly. And congratulations to Chef John Meyer, who got $9,000 of student loan debt forgiven in the last few days, and to the other viewers who continue to get debts forgiven. But the great news of the President of the United States is giving you a fourth stimulus check, and it's landed. It is landed. Have you gotten it? It's landed by direct deposit. It's a presidential fourth stimulus check, and there's not just one, but brand new ones, lots of them. We'll go over those presidential fourth stimulus checks landing by direct deposit in the second half of this video. Then, move over, Mr. President, then we're looking to the states. As Purple Hawks are ready to pounce with those incredible state fourth stimulus checks, those fourth stimulus checks from the states are huge. We'll be looking at why we've ramped up and we're not done there yet. Which states, how are those states doing it? The huge details coming up in the second half of this video. Plus, we look back at the first two years of this channel and where we laughed, we cried, and also we got a little confused. <laughs> uh, we have a lot to see. Pelosi apparently added some red highlights to her hairstyle. Ironic she wouldn't do that with her second stimulus package. Finally, uh, good news today. Nancy Pelosi will no longer be backing bailouts of states in her second stimulus package. That is, unless they're open their hair salons after 4 p.m. on a weekdays. <laughs> And we'll be back with more as a special evening's one-hour broadcast continues. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page. See you back in 60 seconds as evening's light continues from Santa Monica. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page means informing you about interviews like you. you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. No, that's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA late.
and the excitement continues. In the big staff, with presidential force stimulus checks landing by direct deposit. I'll go over those incredible checks in the huge second half of this recording. Then we go to those state force stimulus checks landing by direct deposit. Wowzers, we have a lot of money and huge checks across the board. Then we'll be going to the next set of checks that will be coming right behind that. These are exciting. And then we'll be looking at what we've learned as a community over the last two years and what we'll learn over the next two years thereafter. We're just getting started because there is so much to know. This is what we thought would be the future of this channel on the very first day when I even then was messing up some of the words. <laughs> Let's look and see what I said on those very first few days of this channel. We are informing you about everything you need to know, whether it's PQUL, PPL, EIDL, SBA loan, stimulus check, proposed stimulus check, or there is this proposed stimulus check that sends you a check every six months. <laughs> and there's still a more simple check that proposes to send you a check every six months. Nothing seems to change even two years later. I, I think in two years from now, there'll still be a forcible check that proposes to send you a check every six months. Across the board, there's so much happening. And, you know, it's, you know, there's always a check. That, there's always a proposal of six simple checks which are every six months. In the second half of this video, we have a lot to go over. And the credible great news is that there actually are stimulus checks. There actually are stimulus checks that are landing by presidential direct deposit and then their state stimulus checks. The incredible details, we're going to start first with the state stimulus checks. This is a big one, folks. It was late last week that I said the two states were giving out state stimulus checks, and I said that, get ready, there'll be more. The first two were Maine at $850 for Maine. I think they've ramped up a lot more since then, or $550, now it's higher. And then we also had Pennsylvania, so $2,000. The comment by Pennsylvania was not going to be a loan because that was just the one at that time. Governor Tom Wolf out of Pennsylvania at the time said, this is mid last week, Pennsylvania should not choose between paying for utilities and groceries. They, we have the opportunity, meaning we have the cash, to ensure that they're not struggling to ensure for their success. I'm asking for the General Assembly to work across the aisle for their sake of the Pennsylvania and get these checks out of the coffers, the bank accounts of the state and into the pockets of the Pennsylvanians. That was then, Pennsylvania and Maine. And I said, they're not going to be allowed. Get ready for the other states. In less than 48 hours of my projection where I say, get ready for more states, we went from two states to 20. Tonight, the breaking details for April 24, 2023, are that, I just, I just messed that all up. <laughs> the breaking details for whatever date it is tonight. <laughs> the breaking details for whatever date it is. See, it is, even in the year anniversary, I'm still messing up my life. <laughs> Did you see in that opening remark that, that 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 teaser? Did you see in that teaser? I said F P U A. <laughs> I couldn't get words right then. I can't get words right tonight. The breaking details tonight is that we've gone from two states to twenty in forty-eight hours. Wow. Yes, forty-eight hours now. Twenty U.S. states are giving out fourth stimulus checks. These are state stimulus checks. So what is this check? How different is it? Let's remember, we have congressional force stimulus checks. That's the ones from the Build Back Better Act. They're not a law. Then we have presidential force stimulus checks. They are law. They're coming up in just a second. And now we have state force stimulus checks. Yes, these are law, and these are huge. Have you seen them? And you're going to, because get ready for check D. Yes, check D is landing and has landed and will continue to land. It is a force stimulus check. It's coming from your states. It's coming by direct deposit, and it's averaging $2,000 a check. Where do you get these checks? Let me go over the details. These checks currently coming from your states are very, very different, and they're inconsistent. But let me tell you what's going on. At the time of tonight's recording, we have, for April 24th, we have 10 states that have already approved state stimulus checks. That means the law has been passed and the checks are going out by direct deposit. Of those 10 states, some of the states, the checks are pure checks. Some of the checks are checks when you do something, you get a check back. And other checks are something when you don't do something, you do get a benefit, but it's not a check. 
Then, of the other 10 existing states, because I told you 20, they're proposing pure stimulus checks as well, but they're not law yet. 20 states just to start, and we got a lot more states, because there's more than 20 states. We got a lot more states to go over, and we're just getting started. Now, in a one-hour broadcast, I mean, even LA, there's a lot to cover, and I don't have the opportunity to go over 50 states in a, a one-hour broadcast. So, you saw it last week, and you're going to see it this week as well. The membership newsletter has been new and improved even more. Starting last week, the membership newsletter now included the states with their state stimulus checks, and that is where you're going to learn about which of the 20 states are paying out. You're going to learn about which, when, how, and how much. First, the membership newsletter will feature when states propose a state stimulus check, and it'll also feature when it becomes law. So I'm going to go, go over the guides from when it's featured to when it's proposed to when it's law. And let's remember, in the case of states, they're led by the governors, and the governors are usually controlling parties, so the governors usually get what they want. So if they propose it, it's generally likely to happen. But that's the benefit of the membership newsletter. It'll go over your respective state, if your state is of the 20, and when more states are added, they go in the next newsletter. That is why you want to be a member and stay a member. How do you become a member? Go to the top of the channel, the pin comment, become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP. Get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And that membership newsletter features now the state stimulus in there. It'll go over each of those 20 states. It was two states when this was announced last Thursday. I believe it was Thursday. It's two states or Friday. We're two states tonight. It's 20 states. It's check D. We're just getting started because that is state stimulus checks, state force stimulus checks. There is also Joe Biden presidential force stimulus checks, and they're brand new. They're landed by direct deposit as well. The first one is $6,500. This $6,500 force stimulus check has now landed by direct deposit. It is huge, and it is a force stimulus check. The income qualification is the same as a third. Single individual, $75,000 or less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, you can get it. And then if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, veterans, you can get it as well. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. And how do you get it? You, again, go back into that membership newsletter. It's at the very top of the membership newsletter. The first few lines go over the wheat, grain, and corn prices that day. And then it goes right into check A. That's the very first check of the membership newsletter. Then... It gives you the link. You click the link and you go on the federal website, then into your state, like Mississippi. Choose Mississippi Weatherizing Grant Check, and then you pounce. You get your application on file on your phone, cell phone, and you're ready to clean up. Check B, also been sent out by Joe Biden. It's a presidential force symbol check. It is $15,000 to $80,000. It is landed by direct deposit. It's huge. It's a lot of money landing by direct deposit. Can you imagine? It's a forcible check. It's a presidential forcible check. This one's called the Homeowner's Grant Check. It is featured in the membership of the newsletter right under check A. Eligibility, same as A. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Married couple, $150,000 less. And if you're on benefits, you can get it. It's a four stimulus check. This one is called the Homeowner's Grant Check. For this one, a different link. It'll send you into a national website. You'll see a map like this. You choose your state, like North Carolina. And you go right in and apply. Once you ap apply, it'll say approved or not. And then approved, you get funded within about seven days. There you go. That is just to start. Now, six stimulus is heating up. And we're going to have more about six stimulus all this week. This is to battle the oil, wheat, and grain situation. Yeah, you have a series of presidential, congressional, and state stimulus packages all happen at the same time. Let's recap where we are. We have state for stimulus checks happening right now, continue to happen. You see the list of states growing by the day. That's why you want to be a member and stay a member. Then we have the two presidential for stimulus checks. There could be more because there's a lot of opportunity for Joe Biden to take stuff out of Build Back Better Act and do it by executive action. We have seven stimulus for uh, uh, seven stimulus relief right now, whether you call it check or relief, with millions and millions of Americans getting their debts forgiven, changing by the hour, by the day. That's seven stimulus. That's also the membership newsletter. And then we have the SS300 to swap that cola for inflation. Hasn't happened yet. When he does, when he does it, that $200 more per month that they do it right now than $100 later this year. And then finally, the congressional 
the Congressional Forcible Shack. That's the Build Back Better Act. That would come thereafter. A lot to know. That is why this channel has worked. This is why you've worked. This is why you've succeeded. Because on day one of this channel, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> Do I know what I'm doing today? I don't know. You know, <laughs> I'm just going with it. <laughs> <laughs> on day one of this channel, it was a deserted beach in Hermosa Beach. Everyone was on lockdown. There were no businesses open. I was one of the few people in Los Angeles who knew that the current rule then in LA County was if you went to a bar and got food to go, you could get drinks to go. Let's understand, the bars were closed, the restaurants were closed, but you get things to go. And the strange rule at the time is that if you bought food, you could get some drinks to go. So I got some drinks to go. Just a few. Just a few. <laughs> got some fries to go. Put them in the uh, in the bushes. Lily, <laughs> the bushes. I'm not kidding. And found my perch in front of a deserted beach. My backdrop was a hotel that, of course, was closed because of COVID. This is the very first days of COVID, folks. No one knew what was going on. I didn't know how lighting was going to work, and ironically, two years later, I didn't know that I was in the middle of what we called at the time the blue luminescence, that the back of the water was all blue, and it was also the backdrop of the set was blue. It's sort of like things have never changed. And that was day one, E-I-D-L, loan E-I-D-L grant. Millions of Americans didn't know what an E-I-D-L even was. They heard about unemployment on the broadcast news, but they didn't know about E-I-D-L. More importantly, people who had applied for E-I-D-L grants had not gotten approved. The E-I-D-L grant application actually said, and let's go over promises because that's a very popular word over the last two years. The E-I-D-L grant actually said, once you get your application in, you get funded within three days, $10,000. No one got funded in three days. No one got ten thousand dollars in three days. So hence, I came on the source. I came on the scene to explain why were you not getting paid and what was going to happen next. And this is what day one of this channel looked like. All right. So E I D L. You've applied. You've not heard back, and you're wondering where is my ten thousand dollars. This video is here to explain to you what's going on. You have been misled. Sit back and think, wait a second, what does he say? Yeah, you've been misled. You have been misled because the whole process of EIDL is not what you think. And this video here is to explain what is going on. Basically, let's back up to the very beginning of the EIDL process. Somewhere in late, March or early April, you applied for an EIDL grant. You went to a series of a few pages on a website. The website indicated to you from the SBA that you would be getting $10,000 for your business within three days of processing your application. I mean, that's what the SBA website said. It said within three days, you would be getting $10,000 in a bank account you provided for your business. And you believed it. Well, congratulations. They were not telling you the truth. This video is here to tell you that you were not told the truth. It's the federal government. They did not inform you a series of things that were not accurate. And that was day one. As millions of Americans, years now, two years later, wonder why the federal government sometimes says things that doesn't mean true. That was different then, folks. That was actually the law. <laughs> yeah. You know, we always talk about, okay, Joe said he's going to do, Donald said he's going to do and they do it. Nancy said she's going to do it. This is different than someone saying this was the actual law. And then, then you went to the actual website and said, put your name in here and get $10,000. <laughs> this is the federal website. Put your name in here and get $10,000 in three days. No one 
I repeat, no one. I'm not being. I'm not being superlative. No one got paid in thirty days, and most Americans did not get the ten thousand dollars. If you don't know the entire story, then watch the earliest videos of the channel. That is why people often didn't understand what was going on with the federal government. Didn't understand why the federal government was acting that way. In the middle of a pandemic, when people needed money, it was very important to know where is the darn money. I mean, where is the money? You needed the money, and it wasn't landing. And let's understand how important that EIDL was. There's a lot of videos, which hopefully I'll maybe bring back to you in the next few days as we continue to celebrate this channel's two-year anniversary. But boy, there were a lot of people very dependent upon those checks. A lot of people. And I had people who I was working in the middle of the night helping to get them their checks. And they literally made payroll by the Tuesday. One person was a dog groomer. Uh, I believe it was in Colorado. I helped get her the check on a Monday. And then payroll was on Tuesday. I had one wonderful person who owned a uh, sh a, a a shipping business. I guess that's the easiest way you say out of the out of the Gulf of Mexico, and I got him the money for two of his businesses that saved his business, saved his family's homes, saved his employees' homes, and and saved a lot of livelihoods. Um, and that was both the EID loan and the EID grant. You don't know when a massive cash infusion of three hundred thousand dollars comes in to how that really saves a lot of people's lives very quickly. That was why urgency was very important. And I always talk to people about the importance of urgency even to this day. That is why when we're going over these four stimulus checks right now, urgency is such a big issue. That's why I always talk about pouncing, getting checks right today because you need it today. Don't wait because ultimately money may not be there later on. In the case of the IDL, we have that issue all the time. Now, in looking at those earliest videos, when I press record on those earliest videos on location, I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea if anyone would watch. And I certainly did it my way. <laughs> you see the videos had music? Yeah, that's not now. That's then. The music, those videos had music. It sounded like, you know, it was a Victoria's Secret runway show. Uh, the music, it, it had a lot of stylization. And people said, what is he doing? What is he doing? Why is he making finance fun? Why is he making finance, um, um, uh, you know, very stylish? Why is he making finance so, you know, hip? And I said, why not? And uh, and here was an example of a promo I made that very first day or second day to show what was to be learned and how much could be learned. There was a lot to be learned. And let's look and see what I said. You need to know whether it's PPUL, PPL, EIDL, SBA loan, stimulus check, proposed stimulus check for, there is this proposed stimulus check that sends you a check every six months. <laughs> and, you know. Don't propose that. <laughs> All right. E -I -D -L, the next day. That $10,000 check you have not received. You don't know where it is. This video is going to explain to you where is your EIDL check. Should you have applied multiple times? And what is going on? This is a second update in a series of problems that everyone has experienced regarding this EIDL check. Notice I said second update. <laughs> I probably thought this was going to be just three videos and I was going to call it a week. <laughs> uh, this is the second update. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second update. Yesterday was the first one. That, 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 of course, that video was was tagged uh, April 26th. So that was an April 26th video. Um, you know, I made one yesterday. This is the second one. And I'll, I'll see you. Have a nice life. <laughs> I really thought that was it. I really thought that was it. Uh, if you watched my Instagram story yesterday, Instagram story, uh, you saw the same backdrop just with thousands of people. That's comparison of what it's been like from two years from now. No one then on lockdown and all these people today. You know, it, it was a very, very surprising environment at the time because that location where you see me in that backdrop, that last shot was Hermosa Beach. Um, when the initial lockdown happened, it was, it did look like a lockdown. It looked like a ghost town. It 100% looked like a ghost town. That was April. Then by May, we heard that the number of cases in the United States was dropping. And so people started going out, uh, going out of their homes. And I went back to shoot some shots on location in May, you may remember, in that same beach community. 
at that time, I was wearing a mask when not on camera. It was May. And I remember LA County was one of the first places to put a mask on. And no one around me was wearing a mask. It was a new thought at the time to wear a mask in May of 2020. Um, then the situation was starting to get very dramatic in May 2020. I had a lot of very shocking stories. And, um, and, and some of the stories were just jaw-dropping. You saw a couple of videos where I just simply lost it on camera. I simply lost it on camera because the emotionality of it was so overwhelming. I had the truck driver story, which I'll try to find that video. You'll see, you saw that in the one-year anniversary. Um, you saw a lot of videos where the situation was quite scary. I had one viewer who had employees that were in such despair that he couldn't calm them down. He couldn't calm them down. And ultimately, uh, one took his life. Um, and that was not alone. I had one viewer who told me one of her cousins couldn't deal with the impact of the financial meltdown of the crisis. And then ultimately, uh, no one of my viewers impacted that. But we saw that happening around us. And I said, that's the importance of getting money across the board. Uh, the the earliest days of this channel <laughs> were quite hysterical because I remember in the second week I said, uh, you know, the viewership went down from like four people to two. <laughs> it went down from four people to two, and I said, if the, if the two of you don't stay, if we don't get back to four people, I'm not recording anymore. And that was basically how I said it. Uh, it was it was so little people, uh, and 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 I said, if you you know, needless to say. In retrospect, it was a Thursday. What was I saying? Thursdays and Fridays, the traffic goes down. Uh, except this week. Uh, Thursday, Fridays, the traffic goes down. So why are you being so hard on yourself? I was hard on myself. Like a lot of people were being hard on themselves at the time. And what happened? Viewers came back and we really surged. We surged very quickly. It was a very, very telling time. And at the time, um, we needed laughs. And we needed lots of laughs. Um, and we also needed lots of light, and I often didn't you have the light. It. You don't know where it is. You don't understand why all your neighbors are talking about how they have received it, and you haven't. What's going on? This video is going to explain it to you. There are two possible reasons why you have not received the stimulus check. First, you have n you don't qualify. Second. What we learned in those earliest days is we have to have fun and we always have to have a laugh because a lot is going on and a lot of confusion and a lot of money. It's times like this week that it sort of mirrors the very first days of the channel. Who knew at the time of tonight's recording that we'd be covering both federally sent out stimulus checks from the president, then congressional, then state. It's a lot of confusion and it's getting more complicated by the minute and it's just like how it was in the earliest days of the channel. We have PUA and EIDO and rent and then we had FPUC and we have all these different instruments. The only difference tonight is that some people have sort of moved on and think there isn't money and then the other people who have stayed with the messaging have understood there is money and a lot of it. In fact, the money is getting more and more by the minute. It's very interesting to remember that the, the impact of news is often felt by what other people are doing. And ultimately, I stayed on message. I stayed on message. I never got off the message on what the coverage of this channel has been. And broadcast, print, they just sort of moved on. They sort of moved on. And these Americans thought that there's no more money left because they just listened to them. My viewers continue to stay and continue to grow because I stay on message, showing you that there continues to be money and continues and will continue to be money. And with that, we'll have a lot of fun in the second year of next year of this channel as well. But there's always time for a laugh. There is always time for more money. And we'll feature more of those laughs over the next few days. I hope that we do have a secret meeting with Nancy Pelosi soon, though. Because, <laughs> okay, you know, the secret meeting always works. <laughs> that Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi yesterday reached that silent meeting. Sil I'm still calling it a silent meeting. It's like pantomimes were doing the meeting. <laughs> imagine, imagine Steve Mnuchin and Nancy Pelosi doing a pantomime meeting on your stimulus chat. <laughs> that that would be the pantomime silent meeting. And stop calling it silent media. It's secret me, <laughs> secret media, not silent media. And with that, you deserve every single.
that you can get. You deserved every single check then. You deserve every check tonight. And there is no situation more important than you and your wallet. So go get those big checks. Check A is now available. $6,500 for stimulus check sent out by the President of the United States. Check B, a fifteen dollars to $80,000 for stimulus check sent out by the President of the United States. And check C, detailed in the next video right after this, an MSC check of $24,000 averaging across the board. We're not done there yet because guess what? The brand new check D. This is the state stimulus checks. Lots of checks. Key to detailed more tonight, throughout the night, throughout all these videos. We have evenings at 5 o'clock, evenings countdown at 6 o'clock, evenings stream and stimulus at 7, evenings extra at 8, and then stream and then sunset at 9 o'clock. Become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Couch, so you know, VIP. The link is at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. An environment in which we're heading to a potential recession, as I've been projecting. Inflation's staying here. It's not going away. We're going to have two years of recession. I got to tell you, what is my projection for the future of this channel and my projection for the future of the U.S. economy? I'm projecting the U.S. economy will be into two years of recession. I really do. I really do. 2023 and 2024. That means that economic policy, domestic agendas will be hot and heavy. Lots of economic agenda will be needed to help you if you're in a recession. Because we just got out of a lockdown and now we're going to recession. That's how economies work. And that's how this channel will work. When there's money, I'll have it there. When there's a laugh, I'll deliver it to you. Or when there's a tear, I'll deliver it to you as well. As a community, whether it's banana bread or absence of banana bread, whether it's lobster shorts gone or stain, whether it's Temple of Doom here or there, whether it's a Mitch Ball, lobster shorts, a waveable check, calendar calling, calendar cards, scars on a beach, a talking cow, or a Blaine 6 6, which everyone seems to always forget. <laughs> there's always something to help us get it through it. And if there isn't, then we'll just. Drop the Mitch bomb. <laughs> and with that, join me for a new year and another year of this incredible channel. Stay informed, stay focused, and I'll see what other cheesy fashion music I can deliver for you <laughs> on the videos of the beach next year. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay always for another year of Allies.